Plantar fasciitis, a common cause of heel pain, can significantly disrupt your daily life. The stabbing pain, especially in the mornings, can make taking that first step feel like walking on nails. While conservative treatments like stretching and orthotics are often the first line of defense, sometimes a plantar fasciitis injection becomes necessary. This guide, Plantar Fasciitis Injection, delves deep into everything you need to know about plantar fasciitis injections, empowering you to make informed decisions about your treatment plan. Understanding Plantar Fasciitis The plantar fascia is a thick band of tissue that runs along the bottom of your foot, connecting your heel bone, known as the calcaneus, to your toes. It acts as a shock absorber and helps support the arch of your foot. Plantar fasciitis occurs when repetitive micro-tears develop in the plantar fascia, causing inflammation and pain. This condition is most prevalent in athletes, people who are overweight or obese, and those who wear shoes with poor arch support. Symptoms of plantar fasciitis The hallmark symptom of plantar fasciitis is a sharp stabbing pain in the heel, particularly when you take your first steps in the morning or after long periods of sitting. The pain usually eases throughout the day but can worsen with prolonged standing or activity. Other symptoms may include stiffness in the sole of your foot, tenderness to touch, difficulty flexing your foot, and swelling in the heel in some cases. Conservative Treatments for Plantar Fasciitis Before considering an injection, your doctor will likely recommend conservative treatments to address the inflammation and promote healing. These treatments may include rest, reducing strenuous activities that aggravate the pain, can give your plantar fascia time to heal. Ice therapy, applying ice packs to your heel for 15 to 20 minutes at a time, several times a day, can help reduce inflammation. Stretching exercises that target the calf muscles and plantar fascia can improve flexibility and reduce tension. Night splints wearing night splints keeps your foot flexed while you sleep, stretching the plantar fascia and reducing morning stiffness. Orthotics, custom orthotics provide arch support and help distribute pressure more evenly across your foot, reducing strain on the plantar fascia. Physical therapy, a physical therapist can design a personalized exercise program to strengthen the muscles supporting your foot and improve your gait. Anti-inflammatory medications, over-the-counter medications like ibuprofen or naproxen, can help alleviate pain and inflammation. When is a plantar fasciitis injection considered? If conservative treatments haven't provided adequate relief for at least three to six months, your doctor may recommend a plantar fasciitis injection. This is typically considered a second-line treatment and should not be the first course of action. Types of plantar fasciitis injections There are two main types of injections used for plantar fasciitis, corticosteroid injections, Corticosteroids are powerful anti-inflammatory medications that can effectively reduce pain and inflammation in the plantar fascia. The injection is typically guided by ultrasound for optimal placement. Platelet-rich plasma or PRP injections involve injecting a concentrated solution of your own platelets into the injured area. Platelets contain growth factors that can promote healing and tissue regeneration. Benefits of plantar fasciitis injections. Pain relief. Corticosteroid injections can provide significant pain relief within a few days, allowing you to participate in physical therapy and other rehabilitation activities. Improved function. By reducing pain, injections can help you regain normal function and mobility. Faster healing. PRP injections may promote faster healing of the plantar fascia compared to corticosteroids. Risks and side effects of plantar fasciitis. Injections include a variety of concerns. Starting with corticosteroid injections, patients might experience localized pain or discomfort at the injection site. There's also a possibility of thinning of the fat pad in the heel, known as fat pad atrophy, and even weakening or rupture of the plantar fascia, though this is rare. Additionally, there's an increased risk of infection and potential for temporary steroid-induced diabetes or high blood pressure. As for PRP injections, Similar issues such as pain or discomfort at the injection site can occur, along with swelling or bruising. There might be a temporary increase in pain, although this is also rare. It's important to note that the effectiveness of PRP injections for plantar fasciitis is still under investigation. What to expect during a plantar fasciitis injection starts with a consultation. 
Before the injection, your doctor will discuss your medical history, symptoms, and previous treatment attempts. They will also perform a physical examination to confirm the diagnosis. In terms of preparation, you may be asked to discontinue certain medications like blood thinners before the injection. The area around your heel will be cleaned and sterilized and the doctor may use ultrasound guidance to ensure accurate placement of the medication. A local anesthetic will be used to numb the area before injecting the medication, either cortisone or PRP, into the inflamed area of the plantar fascia. During recovery after the injection you may experience some temporary pain or discomfort at the injection site. You will likely be advised to rest your foot for a day or two and avoid strenuous activities. Your doctor will provide specific instructions on applying ice, using crutches if needed, and gradually returning to your normal activities. Following up after a plantar fasciitis injection is crucial. It's important to follow your doctor's instructions regarding rest, icing, and activity modification after the injection. You may need a follow-up appointment with your doctor to monitor your progress and assess the effectiveness of the injection. While the plantar fasciitis injection can provide significant pain relief, it's important to continue with conservative treatments like stretching, physical therapy, and wearing orthotics to prevent the pain from returning. If you're hesitant about plantar fasciitis injection or they are not a viable option for you, here are some alternative treatment approaches. Shockwave therapy, a non-invasive treatment that uses sound waves to stimulate healing and reduce inflammation in the plantar fascia. Extracorporeal shockwave therapy or ESWT, a similar approach to shockwave therapy but with higher energy sound waves delivered through a device placed on the skin. Massage therapy, where deep tissue massage can help loosen tight muscles and improve circulation in the foot. Taping, specifically kinesio taping, can provide support and stability to the foot, promoting healing and pain relief. Acupuncture, while the evidence is mixed, some people find acupuncture effective for plantar fasciitis pain relief. Plantar fasciitis. Injection can be a valuable tool in managing heel pain, but they are not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's important to discuss all options with your doctor and consider your individual needs and preferences. By combining injections with conservative treatments and lifestyle modifications, you can achieve lasting relief from plantar fasciitis and get back to enjoying an active life. Maintain a healthy weight, as excess weight puts additional strain on your plantar fascia. Losing weight can significantly reduce your risk of developing or worsening plantar fasciitis. Wear supportive shoes that have good arch support and cushioning to absorb shock and distribute pressure evenly across your foot. Always warm up your feet with light stretching or walking before engaging in exercise. Cool down after activity by applying ice to your heels to help reduce inflammation. Listen to your body. If you experience pain, stop the activity and rest your foot. Ignoring the pain can worsen the condition. Remember, this information is not a substitute for professional medical advice. Always consult with your doctor to discuss the most appropriate treatment plan for your specific case of plantar fasciitis.